Anybody that don't know us, okay. We're the Jackson family from down in Richland, Virginia. We don't get to sing around here too much, but we love it when we do. We travel around a whole lot and we give God the praise for every victory that we see along the road. And over on the bass, picking the bass, doing a real fine job singing the leading tenor, does a lot of music arrangements for us. Matter of fact, she arranged this next song we're going to sing. But that's our daughter, Sherry. Would you make her welcome this evening? Oh, yes. Next to her, picking the guitar, doing a real fine job on the guitar, singing alto and lead. That's my lovely wife, Sandra. Thank you. Over here on the ride, I guess everybody can see him. He's kind of crowded into the corner over here, but he's doing a real fine job. His mantle picking's coming out. And he was honored here a while back to pick with the granddaddy of bluegrass music, the first annual gospel bluegrass convention down in Nashville. And he kind of liked Bill Monroe's picking a little bit, and Bill Monroe gave him a big hug, and they enjoyed that. This is our youngest. He's 11 years old. That's Derek. And we can please make welcome on the five string banjo, the guy that keeps this group together. This is my husband, Larry Jackson. Please make him welcome. Thank you. Glory to God. Now let's give Jesus a big hand. Let's praise him. Let's give him an offering here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, this is a song that we wrote about a year ago, and it says, If you're one of his, and you've been washed in that precious blood of the Lamb, and you've got a mansion way over in glory, then you are a child of the King. shouting and praising the Lord and having a good time. Won't that be wonderful? Amen. How many come to worship the Lord this evening? Well, praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to do something that every one of you can join in with us and do. And it's a gospel medley of old time songs. And when we come to one you know, you just sing out and just sing over top of us and drown us out. Let's have a good time in this spirit this evening. <laughs>
I just like to thank the Lord for all He's done for me in my life. He's done so many things I just can't even begin to count. I couldn't. If I tried to count every blessing He's bestowed upon me, I'd be counting from now on for eternity. And I just like for Him to guide us through and guide me throughout my life that I would do what He wants me to do. I will do His song for my kin folk out in the audience. I love you all. And this is called the Crucified Rose. Amen. They kept the thorns and they crucified the rose. A crown of thorns they placed to come on the rose of Sharon. The pain he suffered, I'm sure nobody knows. A purple rose, a navy brown that stood in my They kept the Thank you. 
guitar and over here's a mammon. But nevertheless, it's what the Lord give us to play and sing and praise Him with. Amen. And we just love doing that. And this is one of the old time songs. And I want to do this especially for some friends that drove a long ways. Sister Shirley Smith and her family. Brother Jack Lane and his family and a lot of other folks that just too numerous to mention. But this song is especially for you and it's called Crying Holy Unto the Lord. <laughs> For Jesus, he pulled me into that greatest seaport of all, the sea of glory, and I stepped out on that golden shore. I made it home. And that's what this song relates to. It's called I'll Sail Away Home. This lonely vessel won't save us small. It's weathered and beaten, and the sails are all torn. I can see the crowd. 
get me Gonna be another storm And thistles with me Stay alone and alone So I'm got the anchor Right here for Jesus To come like water
by the police back in the You know, he's made your times out bad for me. There's been times in this life if I couldn't have got down on my knees and prayed to the Father, I would not be here before you now. Because as weak as I am, I would have quit a long time ago. I searched through myself. I try to find ways to keep going lots of times. I try to push my own self to make it keep going on this road to this life. And my friend, it's not an easy road. And then I realize that I can't do it on my own. That I have someone I can go down on to my knees to. I can call upon you for his name and he makes it all right. And he makes everything new. And he gave me a promise, my friend, that one day you'll get a star glory. Hallelujah. That I've got a new home to go to. There's never nobody down here laid eyes on my new home. My father of us been working on that mansion. I thank him for that, that he loved me. That he sent his precious son. And he shed his precious blood at Calvary that I might see that new home. And I thank him for that. And I, my prayer to sing that he's this there is one in this audience that does not know God. If you have a need or anything in your life, then there is a burden. My Bible tells me that if you but call upon his name, that anything we ask and that we believe, it shall be done through the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And I stand on that this evening. Yes, without him, without his promises, without his precious blood shed, without the Holy Bible, I would not be here this evening. Because there would be no reason. We have nothing in this life, my friend, but what's on the other side. And what we shed in kindness and love to one another down here. There's no reason to even go on it, huh? And I thank God for that. I thank Him that He loved me enough. That He shed it all that day for me, my friend. So many times I want to just be able to reach out and touch people. And let it feel from my hand what it feels to be loved by the Savior of God. The precious Lord of God who shed so much for you and me, who we are so unworthy. We hardly ever even take time to call upon His name. Praise God, and let it just get so bad we can't do it on our own no more. And I'm just as guilty as that as the next. And I thank God that He still loves me, even though I'll do all this. Even though I'm one more, he loves me still and he loves you, my friend. And my prayer is that you'll receive a mighty blessing here, one that you can't contain. And that when you go home tonight, you can truly say that I've been in the presence of the old oh, Hallelujah, God. And that I feel a little bit of that wonderful spirit that's going to transform me one day. That's going to carry me to the shores of this life and over on the other side to a brand new home. Where there'll be love, where no one will ever have to cry and hurt and be in sorrow and give up their loved ones ever again. Because we have that promise. We have that promise from the one who loved us all. Well, thank you, God. May God bless each and every one of you with my prayer. And if you have a need, right now, just lift your hand up to heaven. My God is reaching down for you right now. If you'll just go lift your hand up and call upon the name oh, of Jesus yeah. Christ, the one and only Savior, and believe that He died, that He shed His precious blood for you. My friend, your needs will be taken care of. There's no need to carry them in the steps. They can be left right here in this room. Because my God's shoulders are heavy. He can carry the burdens for us. He can give us life and you. He can give us love for our neighbors, for our loved ones. Just call on his beautiful name and believe in the name of Jesus Christ, the only perfect one who died. Praise God. Hallelujah. I believe, Father, that they all just know all these needs. I know you see every need that's here this evening, Father. And I know that if they only believe, and call upon thy precious and perfect name that all things can be made new. Bodies can be healed. Lives can be changed. I know that all things can be made new because we have that promise from God's word. If we only believe. 
Praise God this evening. Who are we to have such wonderful blessings and such hope and such love? Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise God this evening. I just want to Thank you. 
the sure as we're standing here, it's just not sure he's a coming again. All glory when he steps out on me, let me leave. He's not going to leave this world again without me. I don't want no part of this world. I have to live in it, but I know I have to partake of it. And I'm thankful for that man that walked in Galilee. Aren't you? Aren't you loving him, that man today? Don't you just love him in your heart? If you love me, I want you to feed the machine. Let's glorify the king. Let's glorify the one that made us what we are.